Hey guys, Ellen here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I have accidentally pressed live once again, but lucky I am ready to rock and roll. And do you believe I don't have my second screen out on my desk? I put it away because I thought, no, I don't need that. Anyway. I can fix that up in a second. So today we are playing with the beautiful Bird Ballad laser cut uh, envelopes and laser cut cards and envelopes. Hello, Miss Deborah. Long time no see. And in here, oh, I have patterned paper in here. Score. And these are the beautiful laser cut cards. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Kathleen. So these are in very vanilla and they are gorgeous. I just recently gave a whole box to my granddaughter and she loved them. And these are the scalloped backed envelopes which are also very pretty so today hello miss wendy today we will be making two cards with those this is the first one so i've paired the bird ballad paper with the free as a bird stamp set hey delinda and these i made in my class not last weekend the weekend before yes afternoon kathleen exactly correct Correct, only just afternoon. Um, and this is the other card. So I've used the same paper, but different colored birds and slightly changed it up a bit. And with this one, we're using the Itty Bitty Birthdays um, stamp set. So yes, um, to show you those stamp sets, we've got Free as a Bird which is gorgeous, love it, very happy. We've played a couple of videos ago. Hey, Wendy, hey, Jenny, with the single bird. And I have also done a couple of cards and some upcoming cards with the, um, with the birds on a branch. And today we'll be using a sentiment and working backwards and this leaf. So yeah, hey Nick, nice to have the WA crew in. Um, and the sentiment is coming from the Biddy Birthdays and just this happy birthday right here. So what I am going to do, I am going to, I've pretty much got myself sorted except for my second screen. So I'm not doing fantabulously, but anyway... I will move a few things. Hello, Jason. Thank you for joining. I do know your name. I've known you've existed for a while. And um, you, we've just, our spheres have um, collided, which is nice. Thank you for joining. I am going to turn the screen around, turn off my overhead light. Uh, so we have no shadows. And very quickly, uh, jump up my second screen so I can see everyone is saying it's nice to have all my new peeps here let me line myself up here it's not loving me today oh i know why everything's backwards oh hold on hold on bear with technologically challenged today apparently apparently so okay so you for joining hey Mimi you um ducked in there as well right hello Catherine I've got lots of newbies today thank you for joining so I'm going to be making these two cards feel free to comment because I will be giving away one of each of these cards as well so leave a comment and you go into a draw um Surprised. 
they just sit down a bit more than our straw. Oh, here's one. That's one I've made. And I know there's another one and it's got a cut out. I've just got to, because I know I had it on my card tree, but I've had team meetings since then and they decimate my card box. Looking at all the nice creations that I've got and that other card I really love. I have blogged it and it's got, ah, found it, found it, found it. And these are the other two I have made uh, using these note cards and envelopes. So I cut this one out and I have actually used that doily on a little square card using the bird ballad paper. So yes, hey Lisa, hey Francis, hey Adele, hey Lisa. Oh sorry, Lisa twice. Yes, they are gorgeous cards. They absolutely are. So that's a few of what I've made previously. And I'm going to make these two today. And then I can put away all my things and move on to my next round of cards, which is definitely going to be holiday catalog cards. Do you want to know why I thought I was completely... Hold on one second here, guys. I just feel... Not sure what's going on with my second screen. It's not loving me today. I cannot get... Ha! Ha! It's live now. Right, this is not working. I'm not sure why. How is my connection with all of you guys? I'm just trying to see how delayed I am. I'm not doing well today, girls and guys. Hey, Roz. Okay. Right, let's get into this. I'm going to take two of the cards. Now, you can stamp the envelopes as well. I'm not going to do that today. And I love this gorgeous box. When I've used all the cards, I'm definitely going to embellish this, pop some cards in it and give it as a gift because it is a beautiful box all on its own. Pop that over there. Now, what I have and what I think I sillily push away. Yes, I did. Because I wasn't thinking when I was going through the cardstock and put away all the card bases. And it helps if I'm looking in the right colour. So these are American standard size cards. So they're Five and a half by four and a quarter. Is that correct to my American peeps that are watching me? So I can only get two card bases from our A4 card stock. So that is the only thing. Hello, Miss Lorraine. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, if it continues to be in and out for everyone, Francis, I will change my method of connection. Hey, Laurie, thanks for joining. Thank you, Pamela, thank you. So I have cut these card bases to go on the back of here. Well, they're, they're card fronts, really, but they're going behind the laser cut. So how I do this, now I do this with our multi-purpose glue. What do you use? Oh, these come pre-made like this, Susan. So they come, um, they actually come in a box. Thank you so much for replying, Roz. Uh, yes, they come like this because uh, they are laser cut and I do not own a laser cutter I don't have room in my house however nice it will be but these are pre-cut laser cut cards and the envelopes that match they're not laser cut if you go to the start of my video that is a huge glob 
but anyway and I just want a couple of bits here right so I have just put glue along the edge and this P this card front is going to be slightly large but what I want to do is yeah and I've already had a bit of a glue explosion but I can fix that up later so I have just no I'm gonna grab a baby wipe or oh, where are my baby wipes they've run away I'm just going to wipe up a bit of this excess glue. Thank you so much, Jason. They are fairly easy to make. I'm just going to... It'd be better if this wasn't a brand new baby wipe and it's the one I have just sitting on my desk that's normally damp because I've used it five gazillion times during my crafting session. Now, I'm going to take our big... I think it's the F block and pop that on our first card and that will help that adhere down. Now I do clean my blocks regularly so I'm not too worried about the excess glue that's going to come out because I do mostly use my F blocks. Besides the Magnolia, I don't think I have any other stamps that are quite big enough to use on this F block. Our big um, Magnolia is the only one in recent history that I've used it for, but these are great for weighting down our projects to um, adhere things. So I can pop it down and then move on to my next step in my project. So I just pop this all the way to the spine move this over and because I have two sets of blocks I have two F blocks so I'm going to wipe that excess glue off my hands pop these up the top okay I'm going to leave those to it here and do all my cutting out so I am just going to though Pop these cards to the side so you can see where we're going with these. So this is a piece of our bird ballad cardstock. And as you can see, my class girls have already been punching out some of our birds. Which is exactly what I'm going to do with our two inch circle punch. Now I always use my punches wrong way round so I can see what I am punching out. So I'm going to take this grey granite and soft suede bird. So I have one, so that's for this card, uh, for the pool party card. And for the um, soft suede card, I am going to choose something a bit more colourful. Now, I did try this one earlier and it didn't quite work. So I'm going to use these beautiful Daffodil Delight birds. Now, let's see how I can line these up. That's good. Now, I am okay with cutting off some tails as long as I have their beautiful faces. So I still do have quite a bit of... Um, cardstock that I can use and because the back is the pretty petal pink polka dots I have even more that I can use and I'm happy to um, actually lose some of this cardstock because the cards are beautiful um, ah yes well I'm glad to give you an idea Jason to use them hey Maureen Hey Janet, hey Sally, hey Carla, thank you for joining. Now I have flung paper onto my floor here. Because despite not having much on my desk, a crafter lanch is always imminent in my space. So I'm going to put the two inch punch off to the side here. I'm going to bring in my two scraps and the starburst punch 
Oh my dear word. I'm missing another piece of cardstock because I wasn't thinking. I thought I was all organised and look at me, I'm not. Okay, so one petal pink. And I'm just going to rip off the excess here so that can go back with my cardstock. Oh, is it really, Janet? That's awesome. I'm so glad you can catch me live because I know you always comment and say hello. So I sort of feel that you watch me live. That's really exciting. Yes, Francis, I am actually going to restrain myself and not buy any more of this DSP. What I am going to do, though, is use some more, some other pieces of DSP that I have bought and haven't used yet. Now, let me see. I know, I know, I know I had things here and now I'm feeling like I don't have this strip of paper so just bear with me and see if I can make any of these babies in here work they're a bit short where would I have put them because that whole thing is empty oh really I am a little miss disorganized today. Ah, found them. It's all good. Found it over here under my to-do list. So I've got that there. I'm just making sure I've got all my pieces. So while we're here and going, we will adhere our birds to our starburst punches. So then we don't lose any more bits and bobs. So the two inch just fits perfectly in here. Done. One done and that goes with that. Keeping myself under control. Um, they are called Bird Ballad Laser Cut Cards and Envelopes. And they are in the envelope section of the annual catalogue. And they are also on the Bird Ballad Suite page of the annual catalogue. So that's where you can find them. The step... Uh, Ros, I'm pretty sure it is called Bird Ballad, but I can check. Let me grab my catalogue here. And like, because it's right at hand. And uh, Bird Ballad. Laser cut cards and tin. So $31 Australian and you get 12 cards and envelopes. And if you want to have a look at the Bird Ballad Suite, it's on page or approximately, because I know the Americans have a couple of extra pages in their catalogues. It's on page uh, 90 to 92. So I'm now going to go and do all my stamping. So I have this strip of petal pink and we are going to take our free as a bird stamp set and I'm going to grab my leaf if I can grab a clear block here. This is hashtag real time stamping. Real life stamping, and I think I still would like to make it a thank you card. So I will grab this one. Yes, that's all I need for that, and I will use my Stamparatus for the other one, and I'll explain why in a second. But let's do this one first. So we're just going to do some freehand. Hey, Elizabeth, thank you. That's okay, you were really close, Rose. I just didn't want anyone give them a bum steer. I don't know if that's an Australianism or not. I didn't want to get them on a wild goose chase looking for a name that doesn't actually exist. So really, I am just giving this a really random kind of 
stamping I know this middle bit is being covered so I do just really want to fill in these bits just the edges you got a really good leaf here that you can fill in the edges so that's just tone on tone stamping petal pink ink on petal pink cardstock now you can choose to put your thank you on the left or the right it's up to you and I am using memento ink so let me see I have cleaned this those of you that watched my last live I managed to get memento all over the lid and um, I got in trouble for um, not cleaning it up but I can assure you it was cleaned up very soon after otherwise I that thank you isn't straight at all but I like it because it's a scripty font and it's handmade not hallmark hey Miss Shannon I'm liking this Shannon's got a follower do we what sorry what did I miss there Jason what do we have that you didn't know about oh good I'm so glad you're familiar with that bum stitch uh, phrase because I never know when it's an Australianism and Jamie isn't in here watching me live today to inform you of said Australianisms so I'm going to try and find where I have placed my Stamparatus oh here it is see you can tell I was playing with the sale oh the um the sale set why can't i get the name of it it's because i've put it away and i want to say smooth sailing but that's the dies i had it out and i've put it away the sailing home set i was playing with that with my team oh that you have extra pages you have extra pages jason because you guys have paper pumpkin and we don't that is the only reason you guys have extra pages. Now, I was really smart and put my Stamparatus in a metal trolley and I have lost my magnet. Oh, no, I haven't. I found it. Okay, I do just need to pop my magnet here. Sail away. That's exactly right. Hey, Winita. Handmade is so much better than Hallmark. Um, Sheila. And I always say handmade, not Hallmark. And if the mistake is a reason to embellish, I will embellish. So I'm not minding if this is straight or not. Because I'm using the classic label punch to punch it out. And I think I'm just going to remove this piece because we don't need it anymore. So this is Daffodil Delight cardstock. And the reason I am using the Stamparatus is because this Happy Birthday is really, really bold. And it's hard to get a good stamping in any colour of a really bold stamp first time so I just like to use my Stamparatus so that's a bit blotchy it may look good to you but it is a little blotchy so I'll go in for a second or a third stamping to get it not perfect but how I want it and that is a lot more crisp and clear Hey, Miss Chloe. Chloe, I've been doing our work this morning and I'm almost done. Oh, hey, Viv. Thanks for joining. Hey, Deborah. Everyone's in today. Or oh, not everyone, but a lot of you are in today, which is great. I will clean this stamp later. Never fear. It will get cleaned. Okay, so my classic 
label punch is just here in front of me. Oh, thank you for sharing, Gail. That's very much appreciated. And this fits, as you can see, perfectly in the classic label punch. And now my hands decide to have a tremor. The joys of having peripheral neuropathy. Right, punched out. Done with these. The next thing I need to add, and I will, no, I'll leave that punch here, is our petal pink organdy ribbon. And I wanted to show you while I put this up here, is that if you heat with the heat tool, the petal pink organdy ribbon, it goes all crinkly. It like melts and it goes all crinkly. Yes, exactly, Francis. It's a great tool just to do that. And it's so portable that you can just use it, pop it to the side and keep going. Oh, okay, not a problem, Jason. Have a lovely sleep and I will see you in the replay. Thanks for popping in. Hey, Linda. So, yeah, if you heat it with the heat tool, it goes all crinkly. But we're not doing that today. We are just keeping this nice and simple. And it doesn't matter which card I use for lining up. I just want... Uh, maybe I do want it like that. Yeah, I just want a strip just like that so that can go with that and now we're up to assembling and final touches so these cards come together fairly simply that's just getting your bits and bobs together and then we're good to go so we will start with this one and I will put that block away straight away now we do also have a little extra cardstock down the side because of sorry because of the spine of the card and the fold we do just have this little bit extra cardstock so I will take my non fabric scissors and just snip helps if I get right up to the edge too. Just take this extra. I am not going straight at all, but oh my god, that's so bad. It mightn't look bad, but it is. And I am kind of undercutting it a bit at an angle as well. Done. Right. That looks all professional now just like a bought one but better because it's handmade okay so we have our strip and this is just the multicolored fringe penny well I think of them as fringe pennies because they're one of my favorite flowers oh thank you Delinda it's normally my mistakes that make me a wealth of cool tips I learn or try to learn from my mistakes and pass that on. If only I could have someone writing down my cool tips and then I might do cool tip videos by Ellen. But I never remember my cool tips until I'm crafting. <coughs> now, <coughs> now, I am not bothered that this card base is very vanilla, yet this uh, paper is um, whisper white because I do like the crispness of the white playing off the vanilla base. But that's just me. You may not like it and that's okay as well. You can use a different pattern paper that has a very vanilla base. Oh, you're half finished yours. I am more than half finished because I did a card at launch. I have made samples. I have made these cards. 
and all the other ones I made in this class. So I am running on dregs of this paper. But the good thing is I still have the stamp set. So that's great. Now what I'm thinking I need is just a touch of our snail adhesive. Just in the middle. Uh, I need to... I swear this is nearly to the end. Aha, there we go. So I'm just going to lie this down. Now the reason I used this ribbon was just to add a bit of texture that's not paper to the card. So, hey Cheryl, um, I could have added dimensional are uh, not dimensionals rhinestones pearls but i just chose to add this touch of ribbon which i thought worked really really well so just let me get this backing off and then we will have a final touch of shimmer with wing costella and someone will have to remind me to get my torch out of the cupboard so I can show you, and I'm going to have to have a drink in a second. My voice has gone all croaky. Now, that happy birthday stamp is right up here. And I'm going to be super duper smart and put the glue on the paper. So then I don't get gluey hands. And pop that down and it still gives me some... Um, some room to get it straight yeah that'll do because this is off center anyway so i just want it straight to this and that is that card done except for our winker stella so that's card one done let's go for card two so one has more stamping one has less stamping just let me have a bit of water here They are called Plumera. Plumeria. Okay, I've never heard. Is that the botanical name, Roz? Because I've never, ever, ever heard of the French Japanese botanical name, ever. So I'm learning something new. Thank you. Thanks, Myrtle. Okay, I'm just going to snip this one off. oh god snip this one off right helps if you don't actually cut the card base as well just a free fyi there right oh my god that's rough as you girls are so lucky that I try and keep these PG because the swear words going through my head at the moment are quite astronomical because I am stuffing this up left, right and centre. Right, that is so crooked, but it's a hair makeup. And yes, I do actually repeat that to myself all the time. So I'm just going to adhere our stamped strip. And yeah, I'm probably quite generous with my glue, but they're only little dots so I'm not necessarily using a super huge amount okay now try and get this fairly centered in the middle then pop some dimensionals on and then we're up to our final touch now you could, could still add and I've got someone at my door hi I'm just finishing up a live, live video mum okay. my mum's come with my altering because I'm going to a ball on Saturday night and the top I want to wear is a tad large in my arms and boob area so my seamstress of the mother she's not seamstress but she does an amazing job has I don't are we pinning today or have you run 
oh okay she's pinned it where she thinks I need it so pretty amazing oh lovely 92 that is a fantastic innings okay so that is these two the base of them done now I am choosing I swear I got Wink Costella out yes I did I'm choosing to add Wink of Stella so you must give it a good shake before you use it well Susan because you've made a comment you will go in the drawer to possibly get one of these cards so you'll have to wait and see if my little random app draws out your name. So I don't need to squeeze because this one's already running nicely. Now if you do get to the end, you can just give it a little squeeze to get it re-running. Um, I've also heard of people adding some more rubbing alcohol to them. Uh, to get the dregs because even when it is technically finished there is still plenty of shimmer left so I just want to highlight the birds and um, just make them shimmery rather than popping on rhinestones or pearls now I will I'll let you these dry for a second and I will grab my torch okay grab my torch and see if I can yep torches on and see if I can show you exactly how shimmery this is now I've got to watch the screen so just bear with so I think you can see how shimmery that is and I'll show you our other bird you can see that okay so they are winker stellar and trust me they look ever so beautiful so what we have used is the free as a bird stamp set and I will pop my lid back on my glue we have used itty bitty birthdays so oh, I have to do it this way itty bitty birthdays that we've used the classic label punch the starburst punch the two inch circle punch and we've also used the organdy ribbon and wink of stella i don't think i have me ah oh, the stamparatus but i'm not going to drag that in so i have totally knocked myself here and we are very very crooked oh hello i can see myself in the Thing. oh thank you so much for that Cheryl I'm glad I inspire you I sometimes feel I'm not doing anything special I'm just making a card so that's lovely that I'm is inspiring you ah uh, yes Shelly you do need to add those to your next order because they are very beautiful right thank you for that Ros that's good to know its scientific name so thank you Myrtle I hope you guys have a lovely day I do have some free days this week which is nice so I do plan on getting some work done but I will also pop back later in the week and do another live or two with you and share what I am doing. Oh, thank you, Delinda. That's lovely of you to say. I hope you have a lovely evening or afternoon, wherever you are, and I will catch you next time. Bye.